everybody turn to the legs. 202. church at 12th, the 12th, Sunday the 12th, um, in the fellowship hall, and want to keep mentioning our spring revival, we'll start April the 2nd here, uh, Sunday and Monday night, and then be running Tuesday and Wednesday night, and those services will start at 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. so be much in prayer for our for spring revival. Any other groups or any other announcements that I may have missed? Prayer request, remember all those on our church letter? Bill and Joanne, the Jacksons, Larry and Ima Jean's not with us today. Hope doing good. Betty Holland. Betty Holland. Put my friend Jackie Bradford on your prayer list. Okay. Certainly remember him. Need to put Tim Venable on the prayer list too. Okay. Jim and Alice tomorrow, the 
the seventh. Any other anniversaries I might have missed? Okay. All right. Well, thank you all very much. I'll turn it back over to Russell. Andrew. Well, I think page 217. We'll sing it all. While Andrew is coming, we will uh, stand and take up our offer this Sunday. Go to the church. Uh, before we do that, let's go to the Lord in prayer. I'd uh, like to ask Kevin if he would read us in prayer.
God's house, and, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for each one of you that are here. Uh, if you're visiting with us, certainly we're thankful that you're here. Make yourself at home. You just allow the Spirit of the Lord to uh, take over uh, your, your steps today and your actions and just follow the Spirit of the Lord. Uh, we uh, come to you today with thankfulness and Wednesday night we uh, were here for choir practice and it was made mention about uh, a young man that uh, had gotten baptized and uh, some discussion about baptism and uh, that is weighed heavy on my heart since Wednesday night. And we're going to read a few verses here out of the Gospel of St. Matthew, the third chapter. But I'll say this, I believe that baptism is a very, very important step that we need to make as Christian believers. Baptism is a outward expression of the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When we come before the church and ask to be baptized and share our testimony, that baptism is allowing us to show the world that we believe what the Bible teaches us. That Jesus Christ was born, he walked on this earth, he gave his life, he was laid in a tomb, and on the third day he arose. Amen. The third chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew, we're not going to read all uh, of the verses there from the beginning, but we want to read... Starting with the fifth verse, it says, Then went out to him, to, to him Jerusalem and all Judea and all the regions round about Jordan. The hill here is John the Baptist. John the Baptist he came and uh, was baptizing there in the Jordan. And it says, And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits, meat for repentance. There he's telling these uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, which I believe were uh, Jews and uh, there he was telling them that uh, here you are, you've come to this baptism. And uh, what is it that uh, you're bringing uh, to this baptism? And he's telling them that you've got to bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. Uh, you've got to bring forth that which uh, would show that of your belief in uh, Jesus Christ. It would uh, be that what uh, would be acceptable to our Lord and Savior. And it says, And think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Uh, you know, those uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, they believed that uh, because they were of the lineage of Abraham, that they automatically had a clear path to that of uh, of the kingdom. But I want you to understand today that uh, for any of us to get into the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. Amen. Uh, you must uh, bow and ask Jesus to save your soul. Uh, nothing else will work. Uh, you can go and you can do a lot of things and men will teach you a lot of things. And uh, there's a generation out here today of 
uh, men and women that uh, they're teaching that uh, just being a good person is enough uh, to get you into heaven. Let me tell you today that uh, it doesn't matter how uh, good you live. If you've not been born again, uh, you won't enter into the kingdom of heaven. And it says here, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth uh, not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water. Now listen. It says, I indeed baptize you with water under repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Now, I want you to know that John the Baptist here was trying to tell these people that were gathered around that Jesus was coming and that he was mightier than any that was there. He said that he's not worthy to even bow down and take and undo his shoes. Listen today. I'm not worthy to bow at the feet of Jesus. But I want you to know because Jesus loves me and he saved my soul. One day after a while I will walk through the gates and I will see Jesus face to face. I want you to know today that there's places out in this land that they are preaching that of baptism. I want you to know today that you can go and be baptized a hundred times. But if you have not been born again, all you're doing is just getting a good and I want you to know that when conviction comes on your soul, you'll know it whenever God is speaking to you, you'll know it and you'll realize that you stand in need of being saved, born again. And then at that point, by all means, step out and ask uh, to be baptized. Uh, uh, but listen today, uh, whenever they opened the doors of Hall Creek Baptist Church, uh, uh, and I went uh, uh, to be uh, uh, a member of that church, uh, uh, the first thing uh, uh, that had to be done, uh, uh, I had to share my testimony. Uh, uh, I had to tell uh, uh, the church uh, uh, that the Lord had saved me. Uh, uh, and I wanted to join the church uh, uh, and be baptized uh, uh, and uh, uh, live that of a good Christian life. Uh, uh, I failed uh, uh, always living uh, a good Christian life. Uh, uh, but I had a testimony to share. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, I want you to realize uh, uh, that uh, uh, if you've not uh, uh, got a time and a place uh, uh, that you can go back to uh, uh, in your mind uh, uh, and know and realize uh, uh, that Jesus saved your soul, uh, uh, then you need to check up. Uh, uh, you need to find yourself uh, uh, in an altar of repentance. Uh, uh, go and confess your sins uh, uh, and ask the Lord to save your soul. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, I thought uh, about uh, uh, in the mornings uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, I try to make uh, a little breakfast uh, uh, for our great niece. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, me and her, uh, uh, we love grits. Uh, uh, I love uh, uh, just to have uh, uh, some good warm grits. Uh, uh, and I thought about those grits. Uh, uh, there, uh, uh, you got them uh, uh, in a little cup. Uh, uh, and they're dry. Uh, uh, not much good to eat uh, uh, that way.
away. As a matter of fact, they're no good at all. Whatever. You've got that water boiling. And you pour those grits into that water. And stir them up a little bit. And you got to stir them. Or they'll get locked up. And then they become that of hard. To get to the right constant mixture that you need. Them grits, they become a little better. And then when you add a little salt and season them up, oh, they get real good then. But it gets even better whenever you get out that old butter and cut you off a chunk and throw it in them grits and stir it up. Oh, they get good then. It's just like being saved. Listen, you can go through life just being all dry and not having that of the Spirit of God born on you. But when the Spirit comes, it gets good then. And that's when we can enjoy what the Lord has done for us today. Listen, these younger generations, they don't know about boiling a little water, pouring them old grits in there. They'll grab that packet, shake it, go put it in the microwave. Instant grits. Listen today. Be a Christian. you got to put forth some effort. You got to do a little work. Listen today. Not that your works will get you into heaven, but it sure does help on this journey. Listen today. Them grits, you got them all cooked up, all ready to eat. And sometimes, a little Ruby, she wants to play a little bit longer before she comes to eat her grits. Listen today, you turn that heat off, what happens to them? They thicken up and they become that. Of just uh, almost solid again. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, when I hear uh, uh, coming down the steps, uh, I know uh, uh, it's time uh, uh, to add just a touch of water. I uh, uh, turn the heat back on them. I uh, uh, stir them up a little more. I uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, whenever uh, uh, we get away uh, uh, from the Lord, uh, uh, you know what happens. Uh, uh, we can become a uh, uh, hard hearted. Oh, we can become a cold and indifferent today. I want you to know, get up next to the fire and let the Lord pour out His sweet blessings on you, and you can have a joy that just explodes all within you. Oh, today, uh, I want you to know uh, uh, that uh, it's important uh, uh, to be baptized. Uh, uh, but the most important thing uh, uh, is that you uh, are born again. Amen. That's what matters. It's whether or not you've been saved by the grace of God. We're going to go into the book of Ezekiel and read just a few Verses there in the 36th chapter. It says in the 24th verse, well, I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and I will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all of your filthiness and from all your idols. Will I cleanse you? Now listen. Talk about being born again. Here it comes in the Old Testament. The Old Testament says, A new heart also will I give you 
and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave your father. And ye shall be my people and I will be your God. I, uh, God bless your heart this morning. I, I hear it being said I, uh, by the prophet Ezekiel. I, uh, listen, I, uh, you'll get uh, that of a new fleshy heart. Uh, uh, that stony heart uh, uh, will be taken away uh, uh, today uh, uh, just like them grits uh, uh, when they get locked up uh, uh, they need uh, uh, to be smoothed out uh, uh, sometimes being uh, uh, I'll get uh, a little locked up uh, a little stove up uh, uh, and not be walking uh, uh, the way that I should uh, uh, and I need a uh, uh, stirring up a revival's coming a uh, uh, lesson day uh, a church we need to get a uh, uh, stirred up uh, of our revival uh, uh, we need to get a uh, uh, stirred up uh, about a uh, uh, lost men and women a uh, uh, boys and girls a uh, uh, and have them uh, in the house of God uh, uh, so they can hear a uh, uh, gospel preach are responsible uh, to make sure uh, uh, that that happens. I uh, uh, listen today uh, uh, here. Uh, it's talking about uh, uh, that uh, of a stony heart. Uh, oh, today, uh, uh, if your heart uh, has gotten hardened, uh, uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, come and talk to the Lord. Uh, uh, if uh, uh, you got troubles in your life, uh, uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, come and talk to the Lord. Uh, uh, listen today. Uh, uh, the altar uh, uh, is open uh, uh, to everyone. Uh, uh, not just the lost, uh, uh, but those uh, uh, that are troubled. Uh, uh, those uh, uh, that just want uh, uh, to thank God uh, uh, for making uh, uh, today as good as it is. Uh, and you might think, uh, oh well today, uh, ain't all that good. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, you're in the house of God. Uh, uh, it's a good day. Uh, it's a great day. Uh, it's a time uh, uh, to be stirred up. Uh, get the lots out. Uh, and just uh, uh, rejoice uh, uh, today for what the Lord has done. Y'all get a song. Get a song. We all need to be stirred up and get excited about the fact that we've got revival, spring revivals coming, vacation Bible schools coming, summer revivals coming. Uh, then we got church camp coming. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. I'm coming, I, I, but you know what? I, I, right now, today, I, I, we got this moment to do what the Lord has been us to do, and enjoy. Get stirred up. Get stirred up. Why would they ain't the same? Page five fifty two. Thank you. 
here this morning. I want to take just a minute and I want to open the doors of the church. You never know the hearts, the minds of the people. You don't know where folks stand. But we want to open the doors of Shady Grove Baptist Church. If you're here and you've been saved and would like to come as a candidate for baptism, we invite you to come. If you've got your letter with you from a sister church, same faith and order, we invite you to come. Or if you'd like to come as a watch care member until your letter can be received from a sister church, same faith and order, we invite you to come while we sing another verse of song. The doors of Shady Grove Baptist Church are open for acceptance. New members. Good to see them here this morning too. And I know that, that makes you happy. Yeah. I know it does. Someone else. Jerry, you know in this song it says, Are you washed in the blood? And you think um, being washed in blood, you would be red. But when I was washed by his blood, he made me white as snow. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And he uh, poured out that blood for everybody, yeah. for all who would believe. Thank you. Anybody else? Jerry, I'd like to thank the Lord for saving my soul. Because he turned me up. Thank you. That's your mom. Be faithful, bro. I feel
María. If not, thank you so much for praying. Thank the Lord for His Spirit. And uh, we uh, mentioned revival. Spring revival will be here on Sunday and Monday night. And then at Fever Room on Tuesday and Wednesday night. Be very much in prayer for that. And invite folks to come. Invite folks to come. And uh, summer revival. Third Sunday in July. Here at Shady Grove. And, uh, y'all, y'all will find that I'm a little different sometimes because uh, a lot of men, they, they want to try to keep their health uh, hid. Hey, meeting or whatever. I, I kind of think that the sooner I have my help and, and the sooner I let the church know who it is, the sooner the church can be praying yes. for specific men. Yes. And uh, I'm honored uh, this morning that the Lord has sent a young man, Bradley Smith, uh, to be with us. He's been here before. And uh, also, uh, Troy Milford uh, will be assisting us in revival here third Sunday in July. Lift these men up in your prayers. And uh, we're, we're excited. We're looking forward to revival. I love revival. And I just want to see the church get stirred up. Uh, but we don't have to wait until spring revival or the third Sunday in July. Uh, let's get stirred up now. Uh, starting today, uh, just go home and pray. Lord, stir me up uh, so that I can do what it is that uh, needs to be done. You know, uh, there, what I read to you, it was said uh, to these uh, Pharisees that uh, to, you come here and uh, basically say, well, what are you bringing? What are you bringing? You bring uh, works that are meat, that are acceptable. So let's go home and begin praying for revival. Begin praying uh, for next Sunday, uh, for choir practice Wednesday night. And uh, I tell y'all, if you're not coming to choir practice, you, you ought to uh, just consider it. Just try it. Just try it one time. We, we do that with Ruby a lot. You know, we'll put something new in front of it. Just one bite. Just one bite. And if you don't like it, you don't have to eat another bite. Uh, but uh, let, let's just, just try it. And that being said, let, why don't we try Sunday school? Just try it. Uh, and if you don't like it, you don't have to come back, but just try it. Give it a try. And see uh, how it works out for you. Uh, we love y'all so very, very much. And uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, and me and Jenny haven't talked about this, but... Um, and now I'm getting that look. <laughs> uh, but if it's not too much trouble, me and Jinder, if we could take just a few minutes with the youth and the youth directors up here, we, we just want to uh, start stirring the pot a little bit. Okay? Uh, so after we dismiss, if, if the youth could just come over in just a couple of minutes with us. It won't take but just a minute, okay? Um, anybody else got anything? It's not common. Is it? I'm done. I done lost what day it is. Jerry, just remember um, Larry and I noticed uh, Karen and I said that uh, Larry was um, not doing real good this morning. Uh, he, he, he can't get his breath good. And she just said that as long as he uh, was just sitting in his chair, he was okay. But if he got up trying to move around, he couldn't uh, keep up with his oxygen. She said that oxygen was coming, but she uh, never got here. So 
I'm sure she will have to, to check on them, but we very much in prayer for uh, Larry, that family, uh, for all those that are sick, uh, and those that are just shut in. Uh, there's so many uh, that just can't get out anymore. And uh, sometimes we have to take church to be. Take that smile to them. Take a few minutes out of your, time, out of your day and pick up the phone and call uh, some of them. Just reach out to them. And I fail. I fail miserably, uh, church, on, on visiting. And I know that. I know that. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to do much, much better. And uh, I want to get everybody involved in it. I know uh, folks will say, well, the, the shut-ins, they want to see the preacher. Let me tell you, uh, the shut-ins want to see anybody that will stop and just spend a little time with them. That's who they want to see. They want to see somebody to stop and uh, just spend a little time with them. Anybody else got anything at all? Maybe I can talk. Yeah, I'll okay. I want to see my nieces in Sunday school. Sunday school classes for all ages. Uh, so uh, put forth a little effort. Like I say, try. Just one bite. Just try one bite. <laughs> you don't like it? We won't make you eat more. <laughs> <laughs> I love you today. I do. I love each and every one of you. And uh, we just thank you being here, do something good for somebody this coming week. Be kind to each other, be nice of uh, people. Smile at a stranger. Smile at a stranger. We love you. Everybody good? Okay. Rick, if you would, if you'd dismiss us.